My husband committed suicide. Good for him. Because every death is suicide. Every death is. Every death is. Some are just more deliberate about the way they go about it. But every death is a response to that vibration between who they really are. And so let's talk about that. If everything that we say is as it is, and it is, it all is as we say it is, it is, it all is as we say it is, it is. So as he's living his life, he's putting all of this into his vortex. And without meaning to, like so many, holding himself apart from his own vortex. When you've created a masterful vortex and you hold yourself so definitively apart from it, it is very hard to take. So one of two things happen. Either you find a way to find alignment while you're still in your physical body, or you find a way to find alignment when you're not in your physical body. But in any case, you find a way to find alignment. And everything that we were saying to you in that sort of hypothetical sense is our message to you that you could not have stood on your head in enough different ways to have made any difference whatsoever. It is not about you. 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 I didn't help create it then. No, well, so did every other person on the planet. If the cat had stopped peeing on the couch. <laughs> what it created is my family fell completely apart. I have two daughters that are in a religion that if you're not in that religion, they have a hard time understanding you. Almost every religion's like that. Yeah. In other words, let's just start there. Almost everyone has a hard time understanding almost everyone. And the reason for that is you did not say, I'll go into this time space reality and I'll understand everyone. That would make you crazy. That's what Facebook is doing to you. <laughs> You're so involved in everybody else's lives. You're completely unfocused about your own. Yeah. Do I just let go though of my grandchildren? I have eight grandchildren and two daughters and I can't seem to get to a place where I can accept. I don't get to see them. Here's the thing. Don't get to the place where you accept. That's like, we don't want you or anyone to ever get to the place where you accept that something that you want can't be, but something that will soothe you today, this minute immediately is if you can accept that you have a vibrational relationship with them that you can focus upon and get a feeling for all day every day and don't let the absence of the manifestation just because the manifestation isn't the way you want it this red hot minute doesn't mean that what you want does not exist you got to focus unconditionally for a while and it's our promise to you when you focus unconditionally for a while so that you're tuned in tapped in turned on feeling better the universe will orchestrate a way for you to rendezvous with the things that you want it must be it is law but that isn't what you've been doing you've been focusing upon the reality that's tearing you up keeping you from being in vibrational alignment with your vortex with what you want and so what you're getting is what you're a vibrational match to it's okay but it doesn't have to feel so bad you see I get that. How else are you going to sort it out? You're going to say, all right, well, you guys belong to a religion that believes a way that I don't. So something's got to change. Either you got to join me or I got to join you. And all of you stand there and say to each other, uh, 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 we're not going, we're not coming. And so then you say, okay, then that's got to be the end of it. Because if we can't make peace in this one, we say, no, it's not the end of it. It's the beginning of it. Because in all of that discord, you're launching rockets of desire. You're remembering who you are. Do you know that as you came into this physical experience as these clusters, that not only are you eternally tied to these children and grandchildren, but all who have come before are also tied and they are all non-physically focused and looking here too. In other words, to be in a place where you have cut yourself off from the attitude of love and you're using some bogus thing as your justification for it, you don't want to perpetuate that in them. You don't want mm -hmm. to stand in resistance to them. You don't want to wave the red blanket in front of the raging bull and cause them more discord from who they are. If you love your children and we know you do and you love your grandchildren and we really know you do but if you love your children and we know you do and you love your grandchildren and we know you do and you love your children and we know you do 
if you love anyone and we know you do then your dominant intention is to help them as best you can find alignment with who they are and opposing them and making them wrong and staking your claim and showing them where they're wrong is not the way to go about it you just got to remember who you all are as source and you got to remember how you felt when they were little and how you felt when they got married and how you felt and how you felt and how you felt this is the best opportunity that we have ever seen not because it's big and not because it's tragic and not because it's a big burden this is the perfect opportunity to discover not just the relief of unconditional love but the power of it when you blame yourself you're walking around with this advertisement that says I'm to blame I'm to blame and weaker people who haven't learned about focus and who don't really care that much about how they feel pick up on your vibe and blame you so you keep getting blamed for stuff that you have nothing to do with not because they're looking for a way to blame you but because you have been carrying that around someone who feels guilty will attract someone who has a propensity to blame it's this law of attraction thing so what we want to help you to do is to acknowledge that you've been doing just fine and that the source within you adores you and that this person who made his transition into non-physical holds no blame whatsoever upon you or upon himself because now he's in a place where he understands what's really going on so as you relax little by little and get feeling better and letting yourself like yourself more in the natural way that you will what happens is we may be channeling Taylor Swift <laughs> haters gotta hate 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 haters gotta hate 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 and you just gotta shake it off shake it off thank you because you cannot please them you can't understand the only thing that you can do is to come in alignment with your source and when you do the return to that steady consistent love see the thing about relatives is that you got to catch them on a good day <laughs> the thing about source is it's always a good day but you got to be in the vicinity of the good day that source is always flowing to you so as you find these thoughts that are easier for you to hook up with source so that you become addicted to that connection what will happen is you'll find yourself unwilling and eventually not even capable of focusing upon those thoughts that have been putting the resistance on your trail and this is going to be hard for you to hear but it's the reality that we want you to know it's not the decision of your children that is keeping you from your grandchildren it's the resistance that you've put on your own trail in response to what you think they mean or what you think they're saying to you feels like it's a reality that they are creating because these are demands that they're making these are edicts that they are putting out there but that's never what is really happening your response to them is just causing you to pile more and more and more stuff on your trail on your path of least resistance that's preventing you from what you want but as you get your attention off of that and on other things that will begin to dissipate more and more and then it will one day just feel logical to them these children are not going to be that old before they begin requesting time with you and in their alignment their connection to source their power of influence will be much greater and that rendezvous is a sure thing it's a done deal it has happened many many times in the vortex and it will bring itself all the way to fruition you've just got to stop being sad in the meantime we really want to make that statement to anyone who wants anything that hasn't yet manifested you got to stop being bent out of shape over the fact that the manifestation hasn't happened because you're being uncomfortable about the fact that the manifestation hasn't happened is what's causing you to put all the stuff on the trail and pre preventing it from happening sooner it's not possible for you to not get what you want we just don't think you should have to croak 
in order to get your resistance to go away that is extreme but it works but we don't think you should have to do that in order for your resistance to be away you see